thing is so powerful. We are going to be escaping this 700 gallon tank and inside of it, we're gonna be putting an alligator snapping turtle. Oh my gosh, it's a monster. Are you serious right now? Yep. With this fluff? What is this? It's a mullet! The mullet, business at the front, party at the back. The you should grow one for yourself. La Lechuga. We are on our way to Aqualand to meet up with Greg Woodstock, the pond guy. We're going to be helping set up a tank for an alligator snapping turtle. Should be interesting. See you guys there. Two seconds later. And we have Joe and George! And look what Joe brought you guys. Now I know your mom made these. Right? Yeah. Look at this hair. I mean, Ed, are you jealous? I had that look back in the early 80s. <laughs> yeah, when you get 53 years old, this is what you're gonna look like, Joe. What do you think? I mean, it is kind of shiny. So. <laughs> Why couldn't I just leave these in the car? Because, dude, you just had to bring the cake. So I haven't been to Aqualand in quite some time, so Greg's gonna give us the rundown, the update. Look at, look at the baby Midland turtles that Ed the Pond Professor went and got. Aren't they the cutest? Those are adorable. Yeah, they were hatched about three weeks ago. Hi, Baby Midland painted. <laughs> what we do, George, every year we go up to Barrington and we go to our friend Bob Krause's house. We actually take the turtles right when they're about to hatch. They cover them up, the nests have been covered up so predators don't get them all summer. And then we raise them out here and then we release them in the area forest preserves every spring. Oh my God, look how cute he is. We are going to be escaping this massive tank that they have here. It's gonna be going in the entrance of their lobby and inside of it, we're gonna be putting Aqualand's signature famous alligator snapping turtle named Woody. Joe, what do you think? This tank is bigger than you, bro. I just love my job. I just love your hair, bro. Dude. You're just jealous because of my mullet. So nice to meet you, Shaq. What's up? I think he's dead. For those of you that don't know, Aqualand is Aquascape Inc. They're the company that built my pond that is the biggest pond builders in the world and they make super awesome water features. Aqualand has everything aquatics related in here, guys. They have ponds with koi in them. They have turtles. They even have a snake here. But the coolest reptile they have, which is the one that we're building this enclosure for today, is this one right in here, which is Woody the alligator snapping turtle. There is Woody the alligator snapping turtle that we are going to be building that tank for. Right now, he's just got this little den right here, and we're gonna be moving him to the tank out there as soon as we finish it today, where he's gonna be able to live happily for a very long time. Let's just go in and pet him. Dude, you do not wanna pet that thing. For people that don't know, what is an alligator snapping turtle? I guess it's just a turtle, but it actually has a little beak on there that has a lot of pressure that can snap bones in half. And a really cool thing about these guys are, in their mouth, their tongue is kind of like a little worm, and they'll open that, and that'll attract fish into their mouth, and then that's when they strike. They're really cool. These guys are literally waiting for you to want to pet them, because if your finger gets close enough to their mouth, they are taking it with them. These guys are fairly dangerous. You do want to be pretty careful when you're handling them. We'll see Greg handle it later. This is an indoor pond that they built a little bit earlier this year. Look how many koi are in here. If we come over here, you'll see Greg Whitstock's face painted right up there. This is Greg Whitstock's Turtle Topia. In this enclosure, they have all sorts of different turtles. Now, I'm not a, a turtle guy, but Greg loves his turtles. So here's one. It's full of little turtles. I believe it's time for... Acclamation. 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 You can see Josh from Ohio Fish Rescue just about to acclimate some fish in there. He came all the way from Ohio Fish Rescue to help us film this video today. Where did Joe go? Uh oh. I love my job. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Come on in. Here's, this is where I bathe. That's where I sleep. Pretty nice in here. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Ed, what's, what's going up? on? This is our brand new 700 gallon tank. This had a turtle named Crunch inside of it for a dozen years. Traveled all over the United States and educated people on the unique qualities of uh, alligator snapping turtles. Crunch was actually between 150 and 200 years old, making him the oldest living alligator snapping turtle in history. Eventually, Crunch stopped traveling and Team Aquascape purchased this tank from the owner so that their much younger turtle, Woody, 
could live in it. So we have a bunch of really cool driftwood here. So what I'd like to do is almost kind of create like a log jam type of a thing where he could get himself under it. His shell is 18 inches wide and he is three feet long and stands about a foot tall. So we have to make a pretty big log jam in order for him to fit inside of that Correct. thing. We want to have a deep area for him to kind of go out and about, but we'd also like to have a little bit of an elevation change, maybe where he can come up a little bit higher. 700 gallons that we have to work with here. The thought right now, we have this really cool piece of uh, wood that I found right Whoa. by my property. It's gonna look great. I mean, we're gonna get some other root wow. masses and stuff around it. Are you leaving this gravel in there? I or? wanna do a sand gravel mix. So this is the gravel that he originally came with, but I would like to get a little bit more sand in there. I think it would mimic his habitat a little bit better. It's such an interesting tank. Yes. Built with the wheels, oh, 2,500 no pounds. Yeah. Look at how thick this acrylic is. Thick with triple C's. There still needs to be quite a bit of work done on the turtle tank. So we're gonna come back in a couple days and that's when we're gonna finish this build. So we'll see you in a couple days. What's up, G? I brought donuts. Dude, the man. Love the merch and the mullet. Give me a little wave. Back now and look what's happened to the tank, Joe. As you can see, there's water. It's officially time to move this turtle into his new aquarium. This is gonna be epic, guys. Hey guys. All right, Joe, you ready to help me? Yep. The Mata Mata is going in here. Woody's been living in here, it's great water, but I want more tannin water for Woody because it's more natural and this 700 gallon tank was where a 125 pound yeah, snapping turtle was living pounds, yep. for many years. So, okay, this guy's only 85 pounds. Watch your hands, Greg. This thing is so powerful. Oh. I think he's more than 85 pounds. Yeah, he's, he's grown. Might, he, might, he is grown. I've had him for two years. He is grown. Holy cow. Oh. But he's pissed. Of course he is. Well, look at that. Look at that little uh, appendage there uh, right by his tongue. That's what he uses for bait. So that thing kind of wiggles around. They lay on the bottom, they'll open up their mouth, and they're going to wait for fish or something to come along, uh, come along the way to grab that. So he's going to be living in here and then taking walks in the front pond in the summer. This is so fun. Oh, he'll snap. Oh, he will snap. <laughs> Trying to walk up a ladder holding an alligator. Watch out. Oh. Oh my gosh. His new home. Yes, watch out for that branch yeah. sticking out. Okay, buddy. Oh, jeez, oh, look at him. Just digging and rooting around already. He's gonna search that thing around. He's gonna stir everything up. There. It's a monster. Look at him. He just looks like a prehistoric. In the setting dinosaur. though. The setting is perfect. You know, it's got that tannic acids in the water. We got that mixture of roots and logs. We created a really cool cave for them. Because again, these animals are re relatively sedentary. They're gonna go down into those deep pockets and deep holes in river systems. This is where there's gonna be lots of organic matter. That's where he's comfortable. Look at him just kind of checking everything out in his new environment. So he looks actually really, really comfortable in here. I think he's gonna be much, much happier in here because this truly replicates his natural habitat. Hi, Woody. Now I can get my finger close too. Look at that, the first time he's going in there. <laughs> so Andrew and I actually took measurements of Woody and we made sure that we had a cave big enough where he could actually tuck Look himself in. Cool Look at how cool it is. Look at that, that, that is, is incredible. That Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd also like to get maybe some other bottom feeder, like some suckers or something like that, because again, this is a deep water species. So he's gonna live in those deep pockets and in those deep pockets, you're gonna have more bottom feeding type animals. So maybe some catfish, some suckers, something like that, that I would actually replicate that normal habitat. The bluegills and stuff, they're gonna be up here in the top layer. We could also put maybe some minnows or shiners or something in there. Spooling around up here on the surface, also helping with the overall biology of an ecosystem that we've just created guys that Perfect. LED light that you put in right in there. Perfect. He's just so awesome. So just a couple more cool facts about Woody. I don't think I mentioned this, but Woody's a rescue turtle. He was saved from the turtle suit business before being brought to Aqualand. Alligator snapping turtles are only found here in North America. Back in the 60s and 70s, they were over collected for turtle soup. They became endangered and almost went extinct. So Woody is an ambassador for his species and everyone who will see him here at Aqualand will get to learn about him firsthand. 
If you're lucky, you'll even see during the warmer months when they release him into their big outdoor pond. Greg and I have also made a video of this. It's a lot of fun. You just got to be careful about your fingers and toes. I'll link that video down below if you're interested. So this turtle, the Mata Mata, is actually swapping with Woody and now gonna go in yeah. the place we just See how it looks like leaves, his skin and stuff? All right, let's go put him in the tank. So this is actually a good size environment for him. I think I wanna change out the substrate in I here to sand. sand. And yeah, then we're gonna put a nice great. log in here because now it's him. He doesn't really bask much because they're mostly in muddy water, yep. but he's got a plenty area to swim. And this water's heated too, so this is about 80 degree water. Wow. He just blends in so naturally. Look at his head. We'll have to pull him out, get some sand down in the bottom of there. Yep, and then a log that can go around. Yep. And we got two new homes for both the new turtles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This has been an awesome build with Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, and Ed, the pond professor. Turtletopia is here at Aqualand. If people want to come here, they can see it for themselves, right? Seven days a week in season, five days a week out of season, and we're always open because we're trying to encourage more people to learn about the environment. You can come here, you can see the amazing facility, all the awesome ponds with fish in them, the turtles the koi. Joe, how awesome is this place? 10 out of 10. Hey Joe, I think you should go swimming in there. Did you bring your bathing suit today? Thank you guys. And if you guys want to check out their channels, I will link them down below. Make sure to like this video down below if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe to my channel. I get to work with these guys all the time on awesome aquarium builds and ponds. So if you liked it and you want more, definitely subscribe. It'll make sure you're updated and notified when these kinds of videos come out. I will see you in the next one. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates. Slow, George, out. Joe? Oh no, 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 Joe. Hey. I love my job. Breathing, it hurts all over. You can see my cheeks.